Ahoy! Welcome to Fleet the Dice Game. I love this little game. It is a roll and write that is only $29.99, I believe. It's 30 bucks. You can order it directly from Eagle Griffin Games. This game, I just have to get this out of the way first. I don't think I need to go into the rules because it's very simple. Um, but I have to tell this quick little story. This is the only game that I've ever made myself a janky little counterfeit copy of because when this game came out, when the first edition of this came out, it was all I heard about and all I wanted to play. And I ordered it uh, for the second print that was coming, but it was months away and I couldn't stop thinking about it and they were talking about releasing an app of it and none of it seemed to happen soon enough. So through finding pictures on Board Game Geek and whatnot, I was able to cobble together a very poorly, very crude, uh, you know, I had little things on tape, little fish on, uh, on pieces of paper and I taped them to D6s so that I could manufacture myself a way to play the game. I enjoyed it that much and I was so happy when I finally got my hands on my second edition copy here. Uh, the second edition, just to get out of the way, let's see, I have the expansion in here too. For five dollars, let's see here, do I have a picture of that? You can get, no, that's the wrong button, there it is. The uh, the expansion, it's just a pad and it adds a whole lot of amazing things you can do and I think it's, I think it's five dollars. Uh, but uh, it comes with a load of pads. I put mine underneath because I obviously laminated, you know, a whole bunch of them. But it also comes with these cards, and the cards are pretty cool. Uh, they give you, like, goals, like milestones, right? So you can get five victory points at the end of the game if you are the first to activate two different level three licenses, right? So there's there's all of those if you want to play with them. Uh, my gaming group and I never do. You also have these starting cards. You can shuffle up and pass out to people as well. And again, we don't do it. We, we, we don't use any of that stuff which is kind of a shame really uh, because it's all good stuff uh, but this is the this, this game comes out at the end of the night all of the time after you know the, the there, there's maybe a warm-up game in there somewhere uh, a big game that we play that takes you know most of the day it, you know after lunch through dinner kind of a thing it's the end of the night people are leaving or whatever um, maybe we'll sneak something in real quick this takes like maybe two, half an hour to play there's only one other game that ever gets played in my house that often as the end game of the night and it's welcome to it's either fleet or welcome to depending on what what people want it's always one of these two games so it is it is my great pleasure to show you that this game has a solo mode so the first thing to note is number one it goes for 10 rounds but in solo it only goes for eight rounds so we're going to mark off this is the round tracker we're going to cut those off right there um Second thing is that you don't normally have these little markers out here. This is Captain Ruth, and basically she's ruthless. The way she works is every single time she takes it, it's a dice drafting game, but I failed to mention that like right at the top. Uh, she, <laughs> she kills off the, the bottom two options of whatever die she took. Uh, that doesn't happen in multiplayer. In multiplayer, it's, it's you know, for the most part, multiplayer solitaire on your pad, but you're drafting against each other. And yes, hate drafting is real. And you can really mess people up with a good hate draft at the right time. Uh, the game is fantastic. I really enjoy this game. It just ticks all those boxes of ticking all the boxes. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. So what we're going to do here is we are going to start out with Ruth in her preset spots. She always starts here. King Crab, Shrimp, King Crab, and Casino. That's these little markers. Um, this is the first player marker, and I find it kind of handy uh, even in solo. Face up, I'm first player, I, right? So I get to go first. So round one, right here, this tells you on this sheet what to do. Round one, boat phase, income phase, fishing, town. That's it. I'm going to pull up the book. It's on the back of the... 10 page 12 page manual it tells you exactly how this works right it is uh you know just that simple right roll the boat dice draft one <laughs> leftover die everybody gets it right very straightforward okay very very easy it's the same for the uh town phase as well and the fishing phase which is on the even rounds only all every boat that's out there gains a fish so the way you start the game is you either draw one of those cards and do what it says on there or and we tend to do this because we're lazy it's the end of the night we roll a die i get three licenses for green Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be this time. I don't think I've ever actually played a shrimp heavy game. So I'm gonna mark one, two, three, right? So I get a license. The licenses are these three things down here. This says the chosen shrimp die equals any face. So I can change a shrimp die to whatever I want and I get to launch a boat. Remember, as I'm fond of saying, it's a fishing game. So that's what I start the game with. Uh, a fishing license, or I mean a shrimp license rather, and a shrimp boat. So we move on to round one. 
Boat face. Roll the dice. This is what came up. Wow. Now, I'm first player, so I get first draft, right? So let's see here. I kind of like the idea of hitting the oysters. So I'm going to take an oyster die, and I'm just going to fill in one up there. Now, the way Ruth works is she's going to start here and look for a shrimp die. No. Cod. No. Lobster? Yes. So she's going to take the lobster, and she's going to X out the bottom two. So I cannot... This is a red pen, and it doesn't look any different. That's a bummer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was being all slick here. Uh, the video is going to look a little crispy as well, too. I tried to make this sharp, and I just couldn't. I, it, it doesn't work. Uh, okay, so now this is the leftover, and we both get it. I'm first player, so I get it first. So I get to fill in the license, which says oyster boats catch two fish or one fish plus a coin uh, and then she gets to take one off of there so immediately you cannot get all six of these things now because she killed that off bummer man i know we move on to the income phase let me pull this back up here i didn't need to make fancy graphics for this the game is this simple right income all players collect a base income of one coin okay that's all i got i don't have any bonuses from over here or up here i got nothing i got one coin so i fill in one right there if I ever hit a star, I get a free whatever, which is fantastic. There is some limits, like I can't use them for the seafood buffet, things like that. But Okay, so moving along. That is the income phase done. It starts out nice and slow there. We move on to the town phase. Town phase is over here, and the town phase rolls two town dice and one boat die. So let's see what the survey said here. Ooh, okay, now she has a priority order, Captain Ruth does, and I cannot remember. I, well, I know it's this, but it's, it's uh, hold on, it's Harbor... Wharf Boat Market. That's her priority order. It's in the book. I just like to write it down here uh, because I like to not have to look at the book. You can see here it says Harbor Wharf Boat Market. That's her priority order for what to do here, okay? And if I don't say this now, I'm going to forget it. If something is completely X'd out and she's like right next to it and the dice roll here and let's say we have a shrimp and an oyster and a lobster she would, you know, normally default to the thing to the right, but if the oyster is full, she skips it and would draw the oyster. That's how that works. Okay, it's very simple to run. It's so simple. Look at this. It's two pages. That uh, Here, one and two. That's solo mode pages right there. It's easy. Some of that is scoring. Okay, where are we at here? Boat. Did I roll the boat dice? No. Fishing dice. A town dice. I know. I know what's going on. All right. <laughs> too much time at sea. All right. <laughs> this is what we've got here. Oh, I, I did. I rolled them, huh? And I lined them up over here because they were done. And it was two of those and, a, and it was this, wasn't it? <laughs> How funny. That's, that's what I rolled and I forgot. I did roll it. Okay, and then I got to explaining it. Okay, so I am first, so I absolutely... So the problem here is that she's going to kill the casino in one go. She's going to X out two spots right there, right? So, uh, even if I take one, I'm not, I'm not saving the casino. She's burning it to the ground right now because she gets to X out two. So, you know, she's going to pull that. So I guess, uh, I mean, so my options are this or that. And if I take this, I could fill out a star and put it over here if I wanted to, but... There's a couple of these I really, really like. I really like this one. The Ridback Canning Co. I like that. Income equals plus a coin per full boat. So obviously I'm a long ways away from that, but I'm going to try, right? So Captain Ruth gets to go. Ooh. She's going to take a wharf there, right? So she's going to X out two on her spot, which means she just X'd out one and two, and the casino only has two spots. Then... Three coins for me is one, two, a star, and three. So now I'm going to put my star. You know what? I'm not messing around with you, Ruth. I'm, I'm putting a star in the swordfish, okay? Then she, she doesn't gain coins. She gains a, a wild on the spot she's on, I believe. Uh, and then it, it rolls over, right? So she has the three-coin die face is wild for the captain. She only selects it if she has no other choice. When she does, the captain strikes through the bottom most open box in the section that has her boat token or the next available. So she has no choice but then to X out one on the bank right there. And that is the end of round one. Now, this whole game generally takes about... I'd say a half an hour on the outside. Usually it's pretty fast. Uh, so now we're going to rotate all of her stuff. I wish that was marked on here somewhere. Just remember to rotate. Okay. 
So now we're going to roll the uh, the boat dice again. Here. Let's see. What do we got? I heard you like cod. It's the fishiest of the fish. All right. So her priority order is going to be sword fit. Oh, yeah, just like it is. Okay, so and she goes first. So she can't take cod. She can't take lobster, but she can take swordfish. That's such a bummer because I wanted it. Uh, so now I get to choose. I'm going to take an oyster boat. You better believe that I am. And then we're both going to take... Um, one of these. Now, I am only because I have the pen in my hand. Normally, when I'm by myself, I don't use two colors. I don't even think you can tell. That's a bummer. I was doing it for your sake. Um, but if there's uh, ever a collision, it goes first player would go first. Like she would take, she would go first and X that out. I wouldn't get to fill it out, but I'm going to be kind of hinky with it because I've got two different colored things here that I'm. I thought would make it pretty pretty fun to see on the screen, but it's it's not coming through like I thought it would. Okay, so that's the end of the boat phase for round two. We move to income. I think I still only get one, yeah? Yeah, that is, that is lame. I only get one coin. Okay, so that's income phase done. Now we go fishing. So I have this boat gets one fish, and this boat can get one fish and a coin, or two fish because of the special oyster license. I am going to take two fish. Okay. Um, and it could be different. Like this one could take two fish. This one could take two fish. This one could take a fish and a coin, by the way. So that's it for the fishing phase. That's a bummer. Off to the town phase. Ooh, boy. So that is her priority order. So she's obviously taking that. She's going to kill off, dang it, two on the captain's club. I... I'm gonna take the lobster, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little bit differently than I usually do. I usually go gunning for the ooh. That would have been my chance and I didn't. <laughs> uh the seafood buffet and I didn't. So she's gonna kill one more on the bank. What a jerk she is. Okay, round three. Here it is. I'm so bad at this game. Alright, so we're gonna rotate, rotate, rotate. Boat phase. I'm first player. Oh no. Okay, so I am absolutely going to take the lobster. Oops, lobster. Not that it's showing up very well. Lobster license. The lobster license says during the income phase, I get plus one coin. You know, for the next couple of rounds, five, six rounds, I can get an extra coin. Why not, right? That's That can't hurt me. It can only help me. And eventually, I could get another boat out there. Now, she, oops, those should be there. She's going to take this, which is a wild only one for her. So that's good for me because it's only one lobster. She doesn't get two because she never wants that. And this is, like, bad for her, right? And then if I take this, uh, she's going to get, oh, one more for it. and But I'm going to get three coins for it. So... That's a star, two, and three. So with my star, I'm absolutely launching a lobster boat. Why not? Let's get some boats in the water. It's a fishing game, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so that is it for the boat phase. Income phase, I now get two coins, right? Because I have one for, the, for this and one just base. So look at that, a star. I have another star. What do I do? I'm going to launch a shrimp, a shrimp boat. I'm going to launch a shrimp boat. Yep, that's what I'm doing with it. There we go. That was the income phase done. There's no fishing phase here on this odd round. We go to the town phase. See, it does play very fast. It's a great game. You get to fill in so many stupid little things. <laughs> uh, okay, so what I don't like about the market, she never takes the market. It's the last thing on her choice. And if I don't take the market, she X's out my next star, which is horrendous. I don't have enough fish to make the market worth it. I have three fish, which gets me two coins, which would get me a star. Hmm. She's going to kill those research vessels. These research vessels are such good point dumps when you just have one to fill out, you know. Uh, but I think I might just leave her to be with that. And I think that uh, if I take the market just to save some face here, I'm going to get, what I say, two coins, which gives me a star. And with that star, I am going to take... Man, this is brutal. So I have a star to spend. You know what? I I'm, I'm, I I generally always go for the seafood buffet. But I think I'm going to try to do something different this time. I'm going to take the swordfish license. And that says I get a star after fishing. I'm just going to put little stars there so that I don't forget. Let's just see what happens. She's going to take this, which kills both. She, she sinks. 
I don't want to use the word kill. I don't want to use use words about bad stuff, but it's it's coming. All right, so then we both got a cod. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we both got a cod. All right, so I could take the cod as a single coin if I wanted. You could always do that, but I think I'm I'm going. We're gonna go heavy fish game this time, okay? So that's it for the town phase. We're gonna rotate everything here, here, here. Flip round four, begin, and we're off to the boat phase. I love this silly game. Okay, and the, the the team that made this game also made two other rolling rights. One of them is called I have three sisters. It's fantastic. I think I've played it like three times, and it's it's like real mind bendy. And I've never actually played Motor City. Uh, a good friend of mine has it though. Lives ten minutes away, five minutes away by car, probably thirty minute walk. Uh, so I could play it if if we ever got around to it. Uh, so now she is going to take a swordfish. There isn't one, so she's going to ah. Move to Oyster. That's, that's, well, at least this one didn't kill anything off again. So there's Oyster. She took Oyster. I, you know what? Let's take the COD license, man. That says launch any boat, gain a coin, right? That's, that's going to be good for us. Then we both get a shrimp. So I'm going to go here and she's going to go down here. And this is why I like the seafood buffet because how many times of these, how many of these have I just picked up and said, well, I guess I'll just take it, right? I could be working toward 15 victory points if I can sacrifice one of each to fill up my buffet with one of each different kind of fish. It's a really good, good building, but it's hard to pull off. Income phase, I get one, two. So there's one and two. And income phase is done. Now it's fishing phase. So every boat out there gets one fish, one fish. This could get two. I'm going to totally do one and two. God, I need more boats. Need more fish, man. Come on. All right, so fishing phase is done. Oh, yeah, and I get a star. So I get a star. Let's go ahead and launch a cod boat. And then don't I have launch any boat, gain a coin. So, oh, it's a star. So look, I got another star. What do I do with this star? I'm going to launch a shrimp boat. Oh, what is that? Launch a boat, get a star. I mean, get a coin. There we go. Boom. See how that comboed nicely? Not bad. Let's move on from the fishing phase that is done to the town phase. And yes, I've played this game with people who managed to get this like down to the last line. I don't even know how they do it. It's insane. Okay, so her order is going to be as such. Now this is a bummer. So she's going, oh, she's going first anyway, so I have no say in the matter. She just killed the bait shop. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, I, I don't, oh, that's terrible. Okay, so do I take an oyster or do I, you know what, I have to, I have to, ooh. How many fish do I have now? Four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I'm going to take the market and I get eight. So I get three coins now. Look at one, two, three. And now I have a star. See how well that worked out for me? I'm going to launch a swordfish boat right here. And if I launch a boat, I gain a coin. So there we go. And then we're both going to get an oyster. So I'm just going to do mine first. Technically, she would fill hers first, and that's not a thing when you're playing multiplayer. There is no marking off other people's sheets, right? It, it, it's not that game. You, it, it, this is this is just for solo where you're marking stuff off. Um, and, except for these, actually, the, these four things here. Once you hit the crab king crab license and you gain the five VP for it, you also choose one of these, and no other player can get whatever one you choose. I believe. Okay, so that was it for the town phase. We're gonna rotate all the stuff. And flip this, and we're going to start round five. God, this game plays fast. Boat phase. Me, as first player, I am going to do so poorly. All right, we have two lobster and a cod, huh? Um, she's going to take... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I'll take the lobster to just fill in the blank. She is going to take the cod because it's next in her order and wipe that out. One, two. But then we both get, a, so she's going to take out the last lobster line, but I am going to get to fill it in, and I am going to take, I'm going to launch a boat, man. Why not? Another boat. That's another coin because of this other license. Why not? Lobster boat in the hizzy. There it is. That is the boat phase done. We move on to the income phase. My income is only one, two. So I'm going to fill out one, becomes a star, and two. So I have another star. Um, I'm going to launch an oyster boat, right? Why not? That gives me another coin as well. There it is. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, so that was that was income done. We move on to the town phase now. Town phase. Ooh boy, I am first. I hate having. Ooh, I don't have to protect it this. Oh, but she's. <laughs> this is so brutal. Okay. I want more than anything. To have okay, you know what? I'm taking the harbor and I'm taking that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these canoes from sinking. She is gonna take the because uh, she would have x out two of those, but those are really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna so this she's gonna take the market, which 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 means that she x's out my next star. That's super bad for me. I have to skip that star now, and then we both gain this. So she ah oh, that's right she gets a wild anyway. So she's gonna mark out one of those. Uh, but I get three coins, which is one, two, and three. See, I had to skip the star because she killed it off. Jerk. All right, so we are halfway. We are more than halfway through the game. We're going to rotate everything. There we go. Starting round six, she's going to roll, or have first pick anyway. Uh, what do we got here? So she's going to pick the shrimp because she's on it, right? So she's going to X out two of those. I get to choose. Oh man, I am so tempted to just go for it. Let's let's do it. Let's let's take that, and then I'm gonna get one up here, and she's gonna get one down here with the shared die. Oh, you're killing me. Okay, so then we move on to the income phase. I only get two, so that is one, two. That's a star. So I'm gonna X out income phase, and I have one star to spend. Let's go ahead and launch our ourselves a let's launch a boat this is license or boat so i have to choose so launching a boat gets me one coin okay and i'm and, and so now we're into the fishing phase right so fishing phase so you get a fish you get a fish you get a fish one fish one fish one fish one fish one fish one, two, one, two. Okay. Uh, wow, 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 wow. I didn't take a, I took a license and a boat and a boat. And I can only get a boat. Oh, that stinks. Okay. So fishing phase is done. I get a star. Ooh, I get a star. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and fill out a free fishing phase from the captain's club with my star. So I'm going to do fishing again for me. Just for me. Nobody else would be getting fish if this was a multiplayer game. And, uh, oh, they can't fish. So there's that. You are full up. And if you're full up, you can't just take the coin, but I don't have the license to up my capacity. That's capacity six, capacity eight, capacity 10. I'm never gonna get there because I didn't take the license when I probably should have. Um, lots to think about in this game. So much fun stuff to fill out. I really, really enjoy it. Okay, so that was it for fishing and my little star. We move on to the town phase. Oh dear. <laughs> well, there's no saving this one. Okay, so her priority order is going to be like this, right? So she goes first, she takes the swordfish, one and two, and I'm going to take a market naturally. So the market for me is, oh, I have a lot of fish now. Hold up. Uh, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 18, 20, 26. I have 30 fish now, so I get six coins. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. I'm one short, but I got another star. Let's just go ahead and launch a boat, right? Oyster boat, oyster boat. Gain one for launching a boat. There's another star. Ha <laughs> ha, Captain Ruth, I have another star. That's what I'd love to see. God, and it's a little bit too late in the game. It's a lot too late in the game to hit the seafood buffet, but man, would I like to do that. I don't think that that's in my future, and yeah, there's there's like no way to do it. What I could do is hit... I don't think I can get three more harbors out of this either. I just, I just don't see that happening for me. I'm going to try it, though, because I'm going to push for another fishing phase. Why not? And then she's going to X out. So then the shared die comes and she X's out my next star. But again, I get, what did I say? Six more, right? 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's that's that. For that, we're gonna rotate everything. Oh no, she's gonna kill off my harbor. I'm gonna be angry. Uh, we're gonna flip that. Round seven, boat phase, here we go. Ooh, this is this is actually an interesting choice for me because I can't believe, well, she wouldn't take it. She's going to take the cod for sure. None of these are good. None of these are great for me. I kind of don't care if 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 she takes, oh man. I'm going to take the lobster to fill this in just to see what happens. She'll take the cod, one, two, and then she'll take that and X that out. Well, I go first anyway, but I get three. So one, two, three is a star. I wouldn't want her to do that anyway. I'm gonna take the lobster boat. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a circle here to show that I do not have that. I'm gonna put it over here on the harbor, my star. So I'm, I'm gunning for that, right? So I, I, instead of taking that, I'm taking that. Yeah, I thought about it, but then I realized this would be beneficial. So I, because I could have a third boat, but I need to push for this more than a third boat, if that makes sense. Okay, my bad. All right, so that is it for the boat phase. We're gonna go, go to income now. So income is a little bit different now. Ridback Canning Co. says income is plus one coin per full boat. I have two full boats. This boat is full. This doesn't count. We don't have these unlocked. So that boat's full, that boat's full. Plus I have the plus one from this. So I get one, two, three, four this time, right? So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, that was uh, income done. We are not fishing. We're going to go straight to the town phase and I need a harbor roll. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I guess I take a wharf and I put it here at the bank and trust because that's two VP. <laughs> so she's going to take that and she's going to kill off the fisherman's pub one and two spots. And then we both got a cod and the cod is full so she'll roll over. Oh no, it's me first. So I can take the cod as a coin, which is a star. Ooh, so I am gonna take this boat before her, fill it in here, because launching a boat gives me one more. Ooh, I'm gonna beat her to it. So she's gonna take the cod, and, and, and for her it just rolls though, right? So she's gonna X that out, I guess. So there's, there's that. Oh man, wow. Well, that was fortunate. But you see how the seafood buffet is amazing. 15 points, so many times that I have random fish to just like chuck. Right? I could have been building towards this, and I don't think I'm going to outfish the buffet. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're trying, though. <laughs> That's the end of that, and we are now on the last round. The final rotation happens. She gets to go first. Oh my god, my kingdom for a harbor, and I needed it to happen when she was... Oh! <gasps> what a roll. So this is interesting. So for her, this is kind of like the worst case role. This is the, the, the book even mentions kind of like, look, hey, this is a wild for her, right? She only selects if she has no other choice. When she does, the Captain Ruth strikes through the bottom most open box in the selection that has her boat token or the next available selection if full. Only one. This is, this is like Yahtzee bad for her. So she doesn't get two. She gets minus one. And this one's full because I snuck in there with my little star. So it rolls over to the swordfish for her. Wow, so that was her choice there. So I am going to take this as three coins and go one, two, three, and then she is going to take that three coins again as a wild because she's forced to to go here, but I get three coins for it, which gets, gives me what? A star, one, two. My star is going to my fishing. You better believe it. So if I don't have the barge unlocked, which I love, but I don't have it. So this full boat and that full boat do not get fish. Uh, so there's one there, one there, one there, one there, another full boat, one there, that's a full boat now too, one there, one there, you get nothing, and you get your two, and you get your two as well. Love it. Did I forget that last one last time? I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was my free fishing phase, and it does not trigger the, the fishing star. It does not 
trigger that. It specifically mentions that in the book. So that was the town phase done. We go to income. So income for me is now one, two, and then every full boat. So three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get one star. Is there a way I can get one coin out of that one star? So this is kind of all bad now for me. The only thing I stand a chance at would be the swordfish. She killed off the extra fishing. What a jerk. She killed off like the, the dump stat, the dump points right here. I have serious doubts I'm going to be able to pull off a swordfish boat anywhere in here. So this is right, income phase. So I'm just going to mark that off now. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my star right there. Why not? Because then we go to fishing phase, right? That was a free fish fishing phase. This is the real fishing phase. So we're going to go there and there and there. Look how many full boats I have. It's a fishing game. Oh, unfortunately, those are full. Then I got a star after my fishing phase because I have that fishing license, which I'm going to use to go... I mean, I guess that's the best spot because I can launch... It's kind of dumb now. It's past the fish, fishing... Oh, no. But if I do it, I can launch a boat, this boat, which does two victory points for me, but also gives me another star. So I have one more star to spend, which I don't think I could actually capitalize on in any way at this stage of the game, right? Well, I can, I can, I can do this, I can do that, and do that, and launch another boat. <laughs> Whew, okay, there it is. That is the fishing phase done. We move on to the town and final town phase of the game. All right, what do we got here? All right, so this is fantastic. Uh, because I know she's taking the wharf. Oh, it's her turn anyway. So I have, I have no say in the matter. She is she's gonna kill off the seafood buffet. Boom, done and done. Then, then that's that for her. Now I don't want. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. The cod does me nothing but get me a coin. But then she would x out my thing. So I'm gonna take this first. I'm gonna beat her to it there, right? And then I'm gonna take that as a coin when the time comes. So how many fish do I have now? I must have at least forty fish, right? Right, this is uh, 12, 16, 20, 28, 30, 38. Wow, that's that's 38 plus uh, 12. I have 50 fish. <laughs> so I have well over. So I have, I have here, I'm going to write that down. 50 fish, so I don't forget. Uh, so I get seven coins, right? So I get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one star. Man, I can't use it for anything good at this point, right? Because there's there's no... There's no... Well, you know what I could do is take this. Oh, I need the top one. That's okay. Because what's going to happen is she's going to take the cod... She can't X out. She can't X out. She's going to X out over here, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take it as a coin. A single coin. Oh, I'm short one. I miscounted. I thought I'd get a star to fill this out. Dang. Never mind. <laughs> My bad. Okay. I thought, yeah, I thought I'd get more. Oh, you know what would, had I had it. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one for the market because you get plus two coins. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, I messed up. Uh, or this one, any die becomes two. That would have got me there as well. Yep, no, that was me just not being able to count. Uh, okay, so now it's time for the actual scoring. So here, fish VP are, are one each. I already counted, so it's 50. Boats. Uh, there's little numbers written underneath these boats. So 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points in boats. Licenses. I got none of them. It's only these Level three licenses that are worth big, big, that's seven points. It's really hard to do in solo mode. I, I don't think I've ever actually done it. And this, this is difficult as well to get up to the license right here. So I got zero in licenses. Buildings, I got two, three. <laughs> uh, bonuses, I got nothing. So I had a grand total of 71. Is that what I got? 71 points? Wow. Not very good. 71 points. Let's see what the book says. 71 is a mate. 
So about a mid-range game there, I suppose. Now, I, I, I feel like I could have done much better had I thrown in a dice here. I like this spot, this seafood buffet, because if you can get them all, and you generally can, is 15 points. And so you have to think about that as three points per die, right? So did I spend the die somewhere out here that garnered me three points? Probably probably so many that didn't actually get it for me, right? Like buying this boat towards the end, right? I used that die to put a die out here, and I only went fishing twice on that boat, which was only two points, so that would have been better spent out here. It probably happened like that multiple times, but that's all right. That's how it plays. It's a ton of fun. I do have to mention one thing. There's an app and I don't like it. I don't know if it's for iTunes, I don't know, or iOS, I don't know um, if it's on Apple phones, but I do know, and I do own it, I bought it on um, Android. Uh, my wife bought it too, because she's a big fan of this game, and she bought it before I did, and said she didn't like it, and I was like, what are you talking about? It's Fleet, and she said, well, it plays differently. Well, then come to find out, she has never seen solo mode, so she didn't know anything about Captain Ruth here. She expected it to be the game and maybe versus some AI. It's not. It's the solo mode only, and that's not why I don't like it, because I enjoy the solo mode, even though it's ruthless. <laughs> uh, I don't like the app because the user interface is absolute garbage. I'm sorry, but it is. It, it's such a shame because the game is there and the game works and the logic works, but my God, it's not fun to play because you are constantly having to click for no good reason, extra confirmation type stuff. Uh, like it tells you, oh, this will get you one fish. Yeah, I know. I just clicked it. That's, that's why I did that. This will get me one swordfish. Oh, you're plus one. Like it just, it's just bad. The interface needs some serious... Let's, let, 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 let's say... Not serious, but not like on a, on a 1 to 10 scale, it needs like a 6 or a 7 worth of work. Like it's up there on bad. It really is really a bad interface. Maybe, eh, maybe a 7 or an 8. I don't like it at all. But it's, it, it, it's a shame. There's no like demo or anything like that. It's too bad because I think the game would be great for a lot of people to spend 5 bucks on and just, you know, hammer out solo games by themselves. I would actually play it if the user interface was better, but it is painful to use so that's a bummer this plays smoother than the app does uh you know doing it solo but anyway the game is a blast it, it never plays the same it seems like every time i play different stuff happens i do like going for a fish strategy because i say to my friends every time we're playing it's a fishing game and they laugh at me and they score a million points building buildings right uh if you have the expansion the fishing village you get all kinds of cool little buildings to build as well so there's more stuff to do uh the rules for it fit on one of these cards i don't know i have a whole pamphlet of them i bought the expansion so you know you get a whole a whole booklet of them so i don't know what i did with the rules but it's it's small it's like it's like two of one of those and they're not all rules uh it adds a lot to the game uh, there's no way that captain ruth works with the expansion though so uh you know it's kind of like a freebie for you you can just do whatever you want in the fishing village and some of those are very powerful they're very nice buildings to have but overall i really enjoy fleet i've liked it since i since i got it why i was in the shipment of whenever the second edition was first printed uh and i've been playing it like all the time since then um, great game, great game by yourself. It's a lot of fun, very difficult, uh, and a blast in groups. So that's Fleet the Dice Game. Beware, there is a regular game called Fleet. Do not buy that if you're looking for this. That game is nothing but cards. This is very specifically the Dice Game. Just a word of warning, make sure you know what you're buying. And until next time, remember, games are made for everyone's recreation. Take care.